Good morning, guys. We have us an evaporator coil to do on one of these um, apartment air handlers. So let's get to it. Near the end of pumping it down on the 18 psi. I'm holding that in to a screwdriver. Six PSI. Come on, just a little bit more. All right, we got that pumped down. Now let's see about taking it apart inside. <laughs> Lovely.
Just take this off and see where my solder joint is. Solder joint's going to be up here. Right there. That was not tight at all.
Thing was full of water. Look at that. All right, we have this one has a piston on it. I'm tempted to leave it with a piston, but I don't need to. Looks like I can cut that right there and I can put me in one of those press fittings. Uh, that might be what I do. I really don't want to break any of those joints. If I do, it's going to be an, another new coil. That's gonna be tight. See how that one's nice and tidy. to slide back in.
Hm. I'm not sure there are any threads in there. seeing any threads. Here's my piston. or three quarters. See when I cut this it wasn't completely round. Hmm. Hmm. That might be a problem. It's flat right here. I'm gonna cut it up here. We're going to put a couple in here, and a couple in here, cut out this, and remove the TXP.
This one. That's one three quarter. I need two, all that seven eighths. Two three quarter fittings. Okay. Oh, be careful. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, 824. I'm sorry. It's 280 caps going to the nature. Now to get this in here. All right, that's done. There's no Schrader. We're gonna put our piston back in here and hook it up. We'll almost be done. Got my Teflon O-ring right there. I think it turned out pretty nice. All right. That's not really kinked. Bent right there. All right, let's go outside. All right, I should explain. I made a leak repair right here about a month ago, and when I did, I changed the dryer on the inside. So it's only a month old. The refrigerant's pumped down. It has never been exposed again to moisture so um i'm leaving that dryer in there sometimes i mean when it stays dry like that i guess that's an option but because it's brand new i figured i'd leave it today already down the 1500 microns close off the ballast we're pulling down pretty good let me do some work inside
like a little puzzle putting them back together. Doing good on the vacuum. That's um in about 15 minutes. Down to 322 microns. I think that's enough. All right, let's watch it. All right, after about um 10 minutes, it has actually gone down. I think we got a really tight system. I'm going to release some of the Freon, pressurize this before I put my traders in. I'll just replace those. I've already replaced them once, but do it again. All right, now let's put our shredders in. Come on. All right. Now let's hook up our gauges. Tell you what, we can ahead and open these all the way all right we're going to I got really low sub cooling high super heat low suction I'll bring you back when I'm done it's a little warm in there so I'm leaving it at 18.2 super heat that right there is where I'm gonna leave it we're not judging by sub cooling because we got a piston and you see that super heat starting to come down so we're leaving it right there well guys that one had a little bit of difficulties but it turned out really well i hope you enjoyed the video not sure if I'm gonna have one for you this weekend. I'm gonna try not to work. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.